Kasih clean CV dia. Duh, stand still. Sorry. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Why not? It's contagious. I shouldn't eat it. What's happening? the people too or just animals? Just animals. But you can basically, if you, she's got like this puppy now and she walks, steps in pool or something and she walks around outside, she's spreading the disease. That's very hard to do. I touch the dog. Now I'll F10 you now. I'll F10. Just wash your hands up and spray so F10. I did that. They did spray. Okay, that's fine. But I always wash my hands if I put it on. Okay, today we are hosting a, a pet sterilization campaign for male, for animal, domestic cats, cats and dogs. Okay. And um, the owners have enlisted the animals with us, so we um, then get the venue, we get the vet, and the vet comes out and she renders the services right at the right within the community, which makes it uh, a lot easier because most of these people don't have transport and they can't uh, get to a facility to have the animals seen. To. So over the years we found that the best way to get through to the animals is to actually host sterilization campaigns within the community. We've got a target today of doing 40, 40 to 45 animals and it's now just after 10 a.m. and we're already standing on 42 animals that have to be sterilized, which is a wonderful response from the community. But unfortunately we also got to take consider, uh, consider the vet because it is quite taxing on, on a on a personal uh, on a person. So we um, try and re not restrict the numbers, but we manage the numbers so that it's not too exhausting for the vet. All in one day, basically. All yeah. in one day. Okay. So the animals are brought in. A cat can be sterilized and go home in one hour. A dog takes a little bit longer. We started with cats today, and uh, I think there's already um, of the cats there's already six of them that are ready to go. Wow. The dogs will be starting with shortly. The recovery is a little bit longer and then the volunteers will be sitting and helping the dogs in the recovery and once they're done they go. Awesome. And it also builds the trust within the community. Uh, these owners actually sit with their own animals and they can see and they take the animals home on the same day. Normally the animal has to go into a facility, stays away two to three days and then comes back who's going to contract the disease within the facility. Yeah. So it's, it's better for the people where they can actually physically see and sit with the animal and then take the animal home. They are a lot more comfortable that they're not going to be losing their animals. 